Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're feeling really good. It's nice to record again after so long and I hope you enjoy this one. I don't know what's going to come out yet as per usual, but my idea is to speak about more life, more increase. And I was inspired by this subject because I've been reading a book that many of you probably know called, um, well, here it is, uh, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wattles. And the way he writes is, to me, is very similar to the principles in Neville Goddard's work. Um, and so this really resonated with me, the idea of more life, more increase. So more life being more of that creative energy, which is our life force. And we put it into our dream, what we want to see appear in the world. And then it appears and there is an abundance of increase through that. Well, that's what I understand by it anyway. I'm just going to read a little bit of it. Um, so this is from chapter 14, the impression of increase. Increase is what all men and all women are seeking. It is the urge of the formless intelligence within them, seeking fuller expression. And so Neville Goddard speaks of the formless intelligence as the imagination or consciousness. And, but I like this expression, the formless intelligence. It's invisible, the invisible, but it will give, it will give form to what we are putting our mind on if we, if we maintain it and we maintain the feeling that we already have it over time. And this sentence, um, that's it. Um, that's what formless intelligence wants to do, what our imagination is there for. It's to seek fuller expression. So whatever we can imagine, we can see in our world. We can manifest in our world. We just need to believe. We need to um, keep believing that it's already done. Um, we just can't see it yet, that's all. And just believe it's done. And in that relaxed energy, it will begin to appear. When, we don't know, but we just need to maintain faith that it is going to appear. So anyway, <laughs> Wallace Wattles goes on with, the desire for increase is inherent in all nature. It is the fundamental impulse of the universe. All human activities are based on the desire for increase. People are seeking more food, more clothes, better shelter, more luxury, more beauty, more knowledge, more pleasure. Increase in something, more life. Every living thing is under this necessity for continuous advancement, where increase of life ceases, dissolution and death set in at once. And, and it can feel like a slow death if we're just going to work every day and we have this low energy and really we're just working, we're just living to survive rather than giving fuel to our dream. And that's what we need to maintain. However bleak circumstances seem to appear, we need to keep going with it. And the more we can put our mind on it throughout the day, the more that's going to um, just give us that aspiration and the encouragement to keep moving forward we have to always keep moving forward, no matter what. And that's what we're made for, to keep moving forward. Well, one of many things, I believe. Um, and it's interesting that he says here, it's inherent in all nature. It's not just us, it's 
in every animal, every living thing, that desire for more. And he actually wrote um, a bit about evolution earlier on in chapter 12. I'll just read this short piece. Um, it says, no society could advance if every man was smaller than his place. Um, not physically smaller, obviously, but um, you need to more than fill your place. You need to go beyond what's expected to you in your line of work. Social evolution is guided by the law of physical and mental evolution. In the animal world, evolution is caused by excess of life. And that really struck me. Um, evolution is caused by excess of life. Um, because evolution, the theory of evolution, and it's still a theory, is that it's based on animals or humans adapting to their environment. But here, I feel the focus is from within, from the life force. And when I read that, I just felt within me, this is right. Something inside me just felt yes. Um, and it's obviously opinion because it can't be proved. Even though science treats evolution as a fact, it's still a theory as Neville Goddard states time and time again. Um, a very believable theory, um, but we can't actually um, gain, um, what's the word? Well, I don't know, undeniable truth, undeniable facts. We can't, we can only look and think it's probable. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and I'm not saying it's not true, but when I read this, I did feel, um, for me, I, I believe it comes from within, from that life force that always wants to advance. When an organism has more life than can be expressed in the functions of its own plane, it develops the organs of a higher plane and a new species is originated. There never would have been new species had there not been organisms which more than filled their places. The law is exactly the same for you. Your getting rich depends upon your applying this principle to your own affairs. So the organisms more than filled their places. And it doesn't mean that the environment isn't having an impact on the organism. It just means that that abundance of life is, is forcing the physical to advance forward and change in some way that does adapt to its environment, but it's coming from within. And I don't know, that just really fired me, that idea. It just made perfect sense. And how can we apply it to our lives? I mean, uh, we are evolving all the time through the life force. But um, yeah, we need to be bigger, bigger than our uh, place in life. We need to expand and it's expansion in, in the way of the imagination to really be believing that we have already got what we want, even though we can't see it. And that causes an expansion. And it's also this expansion in your concept of self. You're seeing yourself as other than what you currently are. And as soon as you start seeing yourself as being somewhat different, um, just a greater, having a greater life force, greater energy about you, then it's done. Because whatever you imagine, that is the truth of life. Um, you can't see it yet and you may never see it if you don't maintain um, that resting in the feeling of the wish fulfilled, that it is already done. But it will 
everything will change to accommodate your vision if you can persevere in it and believe it's done already. Um, I, I believe that's how life works. That's how life moves forward. But it's definitely from within. Uh, it's definitely from within. Um, I just don't think there's any um, explicable theory from without. It's really um, what we what we are imagining is what we become. And yet we always get fooled by our surroundings. And well, I do anyway. Um, objective reality will fool us time and time again and make us believe that things are never going to change, but they are going to change. And we can either um, passively allow things to change or we can take charge of what we're imagining and imagine more positively for our future. Um, so often I find that when I'm with people, I'm imagining more positively. But when, when I'm by myself, it's so easy to just focus on the, the small uh, negativities of everyday life. And the positive, the positives are so much bigger. And we can expand those positives and really feel good about them. But instead, we often choose to uh, work out how we can solve the negativities because they're bothering us. But they're actually only very small things if you think about them. And there's an American saying, which is um, something like, <laughs> if I can remember, it's the, um, the tiny foxes, the, the, it's the small foxes, the little foxes, the little, little foxes spoil the vine. And it's about the, the tiny problems of everyday life that can really floor us. Um, and it's the bigger things that are more obvious and we rise to the challenge and we deal with them when they happen. And of course, these things are difficult, but we see, um, we see what we need to do and we're brave. But the smaller things can eat away at us and can bring us down. And we have to notice every time when this is happening and pick ourselves up and put our mind on what we really want to see, believing that we have it already. And it's just something that we need to get into a habit of doing, training the mind. And if we do it every day, um, it's going to be great. Um, and then maybe something happens. Um, sometimes with me, maybe something throws me and I'll get out of that routine. And then um, I just lose it completely. I've, um, I lose the habit. And really the way to get back on the hoss is to think thank you um, as often as you can thanking God who is within you for everything that you have in the world and then th thank him for what you will have as though you already have it. And that just opens you up to the attitude of gratitude spoken about in The Secret. Um, that, that openness which can be filled with your dream. And yeah, you've got to have the thankfulness that's part of it. So start there if you feel you've um, stopped uh, imagining for what you really want. Just start with thanking God that you already have it and, and really believe that you have it. And then start to imagine what that looks like and the kind of person you would become. And, and then just do that every day. Just go from there. With, so just start with thanking. That's the best thing to do, I think. Um, where was I up to? Okay, so man instinctively knows this and hence he is forever seeking more. So I just said about continuous advancement. This law of perpetual increase is set forth by Jesus 
in the parable of the talents. Only those who gain more retain any. From him who hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. The normal desire for increased wealth is not an evil or a reprehensible thing. It is simply the desire for more abundant life. It is aspiration. And because it is the deepest instinct of their natures, all men and women are attracted to him who can give them more of the means of life. Um, so everything we do, every action we do, we need to um, transmit that abundance of life, that energy and... Um, that giving energy, the generosity of that, and, and keeping in mind what we want to appear in the world at the same time. Um, I'm just skipping ahead now, but I like it. It says at the end of this chapter, um, no better statement of the principle of creative action can be formulated than the favourite declaration of the late golden rule Jones of Toledo, what I want for myself, I want for everybody. And if we can keep that in mind, then we're going to have a better life. We're not going to um, argue with people so much or gossip or be negative. We need to think um, what we put out there is what we get back. And so if we're holding some negativity against somebody, the only person that it's going to hurt is ourselves, which is hard to see sometimes. But we need to just imagine the best for everybody. Um, even if we have enemies, imagine the best for them. And just, if you can't do it um, because it's the right thing to do, then just start, start with that feeling that there is only, well, the, the truth really, there is only God in the world. And we're all manifestations of that life force. And so really, um, if we are against another human being, we are against ourselves. And we do feel that sometimes. I do feel that. That um, if I am in some negative spiral in my head, um, I'm just feeling the effects of it. It's just coming back to me all the time. And so if I contemplated more what was actually going on, maybe I would um, stop it sooner and then put out more positive vibes towards the person, knowing that they're just another manifestation of myself. So it's it's about it's about living in what we're actually studying, um, following the teachings, that's all. And emotions seem to get us off course very quickly. Um, when we when we um feel emotions to truly be us and they're not us. They're very mysterious things. They um, are some kind of energy that we inhabit at certain times. And because it's so strong, um, yeah, I think it confuses us. This is just what I think. And um, we believe that we are that emotional energy, whatever. And um, yeah, it's really heightened energy and it makes us want to, to um, well, we, we become it, don't we? We become the anger or the sadness or the envy or whatever it is we're experiencing. 
and so we're really feeling it and in that moment all our judgment is clouded by that emotion um and so that's why people often say you don't make important decisions when you are feeling strong emotions you've got to wait because they'll fool you and once you're um calmed down and back to your steadier state of being you may have some regrets so and emotions can feel very um reasonable well they don't really but at the time you can be under their sway a bit and just think yeah this is the right thing to do but um just try and stop yourself uh wait until it's died down a bit because you'll find that um, you'll make a different decision, maybe. I think it's really good to write things down so you remember how you feel um, under different emotions. And then when it happens again, um, you're just thinking, okay, I'm going through this at the moment. Don't give it too much importance. It's just an emotion, that's all. It's not me. I'm not that. It's like something that's visiting me for a while. Or I'm visiting it. I'm resting in it. And then it will go. And and emotions are there for a reason. Um, they have to be there for a reason. Um, some people say they're, they're messages, aren't they, um, about what we're experiencing in life. So we need to listen to them, but don't act on them. That's the important thing. What are they telling us about ourselves? It's more about ourselves than um, some reaction to another person. So, um, yeah, I don't know how I got onto that. Um, let's see, where was I reading? Oh yeah, what I want for myself, I want for everybody. That's how I got onto it. So, um, as soon as you can break out of any negativity, do it. And just, uh, if you want lots of success for yourself, imagine it for someone else. It's all gonna come back to you anyway. Maybe the other person will have some success as well. And that's a bonus, isn't it? But um, yeah, don't think, oh, I can't bring myself to do that because um, I don't forgive them. If you are, holding unforgiveness in your heart, then it's yourself you're not forgiving. Like I said, everything is coming back to you. It's no, everything is what you're experiencing within. Um, and you know that, but you don't realize the damage it's doing at the time. Um, so you just have to change it and just, like I, I always say, if you can meditate, that keeps you in the present moment more. And then you recognise these things for what they are. You've got to contemplate it when it happens. So you know what to do when they come back. And then as soon as you can, just give out positive energy. And you'll probably have a better, um, well, better communication with whoever you're imagining for. And it's only going to mean more goodness in your life so it's a win-win situation um and then um i really like the next chapter but i'm not going to go on because i didn't realize i'd been speaking for so long as often happens it's called the advancing man i love that title and it's just like we're always advancing always advancing or or we feel like we're dying, really. Um, that's why our soul cries to to advance, to move forward. And all these desires we have, it's all about advancing. Um, so, it's just saying that there are so many opportunities in this world to advance. And we always have to realise that there's an abundance of opportunities 
There's no reason why we we have to fail. And um, do all the work you can do every day and do each piece of work in a perfectly successful manner. Put the power of success and the purpose to get rich, if that's what you want, into everything that you do. So you're taking that essence of what you want and putting it into every action. Um, and that's efficiency. It's not about um, doing a huge amount, but it's, it's performing every action perfectly through believing that your dream is done and you're giving that energy to every act. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, I feel so tired at the moment. Um, but it's nice to speak for a while and try and get back into um, recording YouTube clips. I really want to keep doing it and doing shorter ones for people who don't want to listen for so long. But um, yeah, essentially, um, more life, more increase is just about the energy that you put out there. And if we want to keep moving forward in life, we need to be putting out that positive energy, that abundance into everything we do. Not just thinking, well, I'm not in my ideal job right now. I don't really want to do this. I'm bored and just do the bare minimum. Um, you can be doing, oh, not the bare minimum. <laughs> it's, it's about what you do. You have to do certain things. And you can be imagining your um, wish fulfilled being manifested as you do it and just putting out that generous abundance of energy into every action. And so nothing is wasted in your life. And um, why not start doing that tomorrow if you're not already doing it? And just instead of thinking, oh, it's Monday, um, you know, five more days to go or whatever, um, which is totally understandable. <laughs> just um, think I'm going to, this is my life, you know, this is my life. And I'm not going to wish my time away anymore. Um, I'm not going to wish my Mondays away anymore. See, I'm getting into it now. <laughs> um, so it's like time is passing always. And so we should be using it as well as possible, but not beating ourselves up if we forget. But just, um, just, just realizing that we are the main power. We are the ultimate power in our life. Our power is within us and we can have whatever we want and do whatever we do. We just have to believe it. And we just need to keep touching into that throughout the day, putting it into all our actions. And it will encourage us to aim higher if we can keep that in mind. Never give up, never ever give up. It's coming and um, you're bringing it into being. So every time you are thinking negative inner conversations. You are preventing your dream from manifesting in this world. So don't do that to yourself. Don't do that. Just, um, I think we do it because we, it's just a feeling of um, getting control over our life, but it's not um, a genuine, it's not truth. Um, if it was, it would be over as soon as we'd thought of what we really wanted to happen. It, we wouldn't think about it again. But we have to keep on going over and over and over in our minds because it's the ego. That's all it is, the ego. Um, and it's hard to get these things out of our minds sometimes, but we can do it. 
We just need to keep going back and swapping negative thoughts for positive thoughts, imagining what we want. And of course, always reading, always listening to these teachings um, to, to um, confirm to ourselves that we believe it and to just keep on building um, that firm foundation in our lives that when the storms hit, we will stand firm. And even if we're a bit um, blown around in the beginning, we regain our equilibrium really quickly because we know the teachings and we, we've told ourselves that this is right. We actually believe it. And so we know what to do. It's just we've been um, confused by strong emotions. So it is really about getting back on the horse and riding it um, as soon as you realise. And that's all I can really say, because that's what I'm going through myself. So um, I think don't beat yourself up, just um, get back on with it. I've had COVID recently and I'm very tired, <laughs> but it's really nice to be making a clip again. And I hope you liked it. I hope you got something from it. And um, please let me know what you think. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe. I am going to um, do shorter clips as well, um, more pithy ones. Maybe I'll do one after this. Um, yeah, I just hope that you're all doing well and uh, never give up, that's all. Okay, take care, people, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.